In this video, we're going to look at working with this color separation, pulling our gray out, and then adding color to the gray to create a custom color from the gray to get a more accurate print. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to include gray. Now I have black and gray along with my six colors. I'm going to go to the channels view and do an analysis here. I'm going to look at the color. So I'll turn the black off and I'll turn the gray off and I can see I've got a very faint azure or blue here and cyan. I'll turn these off and I'll go back to the split view. I'll go to the red. I'll remove that. Go to the yellow. Remove that. Go to the green. Remove that. There's the cyan. And here's the blue. Now if I look at the blue and turn off the color, I can see that's very faint. Very light color density, small half tones. But I can take that blue and merge that into the gray. Let me delete this magenta, I won't need that. Now with my gray, I'll change that to a blue. But then I'll come over here into the grayish side of the mid-tones of the blue and change that to that color and then I'll go back and look at my original and we can see that we now have very accurate color separations working with the black the custom color gray and the cyan and if we go to the custom color gray we can see our color matching formula here which is really gray I can start out with perhaps a gray and just a little bit of blue not too much mixed into that and you'd match that color and there you'd have your color separations ready to go and very accurate working with the Inksteps app from www.inksteps.com. We'll wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.